Hello everyone, this is the third weapon tutorial for Hand Simulator. This is the Colt M1911, the third weapon for the single player shooting gallery in this version of the game. It is also the weapon used in the last hero multiplayer game mode. The M1911 is the easiest weapon to load and is done as follows. Uh, you start with the weapon flat on the table. I recommend you use your left hand to grip it, but don't lift it off the table. Keep it flat on the bench but hold it so it doesn't move. You switch to your right hand and you want to uh, move the magazine slightly towards you with your index finger. So just flip it slightly towards you. Don't flip it over. Just move it and angle it so it matches the angle on the magazine. That's a bit too much. That should be okay. Use your index and thumb to grip the middle of the magazine and then you move towards the magazine well. Lift it slightly above the bench and then you wiggle it into the magazine well. Once you get a bit of bite like that, you might want to uh, shift it in just slightly and then you thumb it the rest of the way in like that. Give it a bit of wiggle room and if your gun moves too much, then you can lift it back but otherwise, thumb it in and it clicks and the weapon is now loaded. Uh, you put the pistol across the bench, let it go, lift your hands free, lift the hand up and then you have a grip on the M1911. Again, you might want to angle it so that it's a better angle towards the target. And because this weapon has no safety, you have to be right first time around. You position the finger guard just between your index and middle fingers. You grip the weapon with everything except your index finger, swap hands to lock it in place, and then you have the weapon fully loaded and ready to fire, like that. Uh, aiming the M1911 is tricky because there's no way to really bend your wrist so the only way to really do so, especially in the last hero when you have no time to aim, is to basically let the weapon swing freely, align as close as possible, but otherwise you're aiming by feel rather than by uh, the sights, which the sights do work, but getting it right can be very tough. And I think fire, firing instinctively is the best way to go. And it works most of the time. And this is a pretty fun weapon to use in the shooting gallery. You get a lot of uh, good scores if you uh, correctly align it. And uh, that's how it works. Oh, I wonder, I'm sure what we're shooting there, <laughs> to be honest. Can't see what we're hitting there. Doesn't matter too much. Have some fun here. So, aim a little lower. There we go. Should be body shots here. Four, that's an arm shot. So aiming off to the middle and just using the tip of the barrel to figure out where you're aiming. That's not too bad. Okay, if you really want to aim, you could, but I'm not trying too hard. You get points. So there we go, we are now empty. Let's see it's this in an actual shot. last hero match. We spawn with the N1011, grip it with the left hand, tip the magazine slightly in our direction, grip the middle, move it slightly above the table, wiggle it into the magazine well, and then thumb it the rest of the way until it clicks. Once it clicks, we shift the pistol to the center of the table, then we align the trigger guard with our middle finger, and we grip it with all but the index finger. We now have the weapon loaded and ready to fire, so we take our time aiming at the most dangerous person. In this match, the guy in the grey shirt won the last match, so he obviously knows how to shoot. He's actually using the table method. So we're shooting the person opposite to him easily. So we go for him because he's going to do the most killing later on. There's the kill shot. And then we sway the weapon towards the left. We can't aim this direction. So we sway until we reach the body. That's the kill. There's no one to our right. He's already dead. Leaving two guys who can't pick their guns up. We take a very careful aim shot in the guy in the white singlet. One hit kill, beautiful. This last guy takes a bit more effort. As you can see, we can't really aim the weapon. So I'm going to swing across several times and wand him and hopefully we can see where the bullets land. You can see the shot above to the right, now above to the left. We go lower slightly, we can no longer see exactly where the bullets land. So we'll stabilize, try to use our uh, barrel to estimate where the shot will land. <laughs> Again, there's no real ease of it to do this. So there we go. We've got a bit of alignment there. We'll swing it across just a bit more. That's a bit off. One more sweep. And that's the kill. Anyway, hope this is helpful and maybe I'll see you next time.